Evening all, and welcome back to Factorio. I am joined as ever by Nader Gamer. Hello, hello. It's over there. Hello, you are over there. Yeah, uh, I am basically waiting for the uh, belt train to refuel, and yay, it's going. It has been waiting to refuel for such a long time. Yes, yes, this this needs to be dealt with. It's just something that we need to kind of do today, hopefully, because. Ah, uh, because uh, reasons. Because um, we need trains to move. Production. Yeah, I'm going to move the oil production, which then means that we could potentially have more fuel in, fuel stops in the same locations, or we could just out. Or I, I think I think just having uh, not having the oil go there as well would, would definitely help. Yeah, stuff. probably. Uh, we're not getting enough petroleum in here because this is not balanced properly, and this is not working greatly. And oh dear, oh me, oh my. And, uh, and yeah, and yeah, um, uh, and also according to my calculations, we're getting to a point of, uh, these pipes should, they're not full, they're not full, but they should be getting to a full stage, if the factor or a calculator makes sense, uh, because it says that, um, Twenty-five refineries. Uh, twenty-five refineries and twenty-one chemical plants producing petroleum should fill a pipe. And we've got fifty refineries and way more than twenty uh, chemical plants making petroleum. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. But it does all seem to just be working and not actually struggling, which is really strange. Because it should be. Maybe it is. It's uh, just trying to save face. It's very, it's very strange. I mean, it might just be a case that I need to actually come down and just add pumps to the uh, the oil, the actual crude oil out. But that could be it's just that that would probably just fix it. But it does kind of need moving, or the refueling needs moving. Yeah. I'm not sure which one. Oh, yeah. Now, now I'm looking at. It, I'm wondering, like, sh should I, should I do it, or should I? Uh, this is going all the way. Do you feel It's getting all the way, and that is perfect. Right, so that should speed up our utility science production. I thought I had upgraded all the belts to blue belts, but I guess I didn't. But now they are. Because the the uh, these things, the low density structures, they weren't they weren't making it to the end of of the belt, but now they are. So that's good. And now uh, I need to get rid of some stuff here. Don't run me over, anyone. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down and have a look at changing the extra all that's there right now. Just just as a quick little uh, tester first before I start rebuilding something somewhere else that doesn't necessarily need rebuilding. because uh, again, pipes I don't quite understand their throughput, if I'm honest with you, because they they don't just have a set number, it seems. I, th I, I feel like pressure makes a difference here, depending on your pipes and your pumps and stuff. Yeah, that sounds right to so, me. Yeah, um, but according to the calculator, um, about 30,000-ish crude oil would only leave 429 space in a pipe. I don't know what that is in a pipe. You know, 429. But if, if I put it to like... 31,000, mm -hmm. um, it says 413, but if you bring it down to like 20,000, it doesn't say, it only says 600, so it's very strange numbers. Yeah, although some numbers did not make any sense to me whatsoever. Well, if I say 20,000, mm -hmm. yeah, I want to make 20,000 petroleum, yeah, it tells me that there is, uh, 
681 space left in the pipe when it's flowing 20,000 petroleum. Okay, but how much space was there in the pipe to begin with? I don't know. Uh, if I say one petroleum, for instance, it then says there is something like 143 million space in the pipe. But the weirdest thing is, if you go, if you double that amount to 40,000 petroleum, it still says there's 321 space in the pipe. So it's like, how do pipes work? I don't understand. There's got to be some, as I said, something with pressure or something that I'm not aware of. Sounds very confusing. Um, also, I know there is a certain distance you're supposed to go and then add pumps in every go, but I don't do that and I probably should. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up this here. So we are going to... Mm. You go under and near and that's all fine. Uh, you... This is going to lose. Um, you can't get your stuff out anywhere. Oh yeah, you can. You're getting it out there. And then it's coming on to here. What the hell is going on here? Oh, whatever, yeah, we're gonna lose some oil. I don't care. It's, it's annoying. There's not a great deal we can do about it because just the system is very strange how it works. Oh, that's what's going on here. Okay. Uh, but you... What I'm going to do is... What you need... To outsert there instead. Okay. Then I want some... I want to these guys. Okay. So we can make one productivity module. Let's try and do that. So I want to see if we can use productivity modules in miners. Because if we can, then I really want to set productivity module. Uh, production up, uh, productivity module three production up even. Um, so where do we have some active miners? Nearest by active miners down there. Be faster to just run there, but yeah, you know, it's faster to just run there. No, no, jump out. Whoa, no train, no. It will not have me today. It might not be faster because of all the trees, yeah. It's not faster because of, because of all the trees. So let's take the train. Alright. Let's head down. Park somewhere where we're not completely in the way. Like really? here, I guess. Because if we can have productivity module threes in our mining operations, then we will get a lot more materials out of them, out of our mines, which would be great. But there is a weird thing that it says on productivity modules. It says usable only on its intermediate products. So is ore or is a miner considered producing intermediate products or is it considered producing raw materials? Is there a difference between raw materials? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going with a no there. <laughs> 
Yeah, probably. I, 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 I don't think so. I, I think they don't, they won't work on miners. I think speed modules is the way to go with miners, but uh, they do work on miners. Productivity does work on miners. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. They do. Oh, cool. So, if we put okay, and also each each refinery should have its own storage tank, but I haven't done that. Mm -hmm. So if we put activity module threes in our miners, they will get plus ten percent. Productivity, but minus 15% speed. Yep. If we put speed mod modules in, then they'll got, get plus 50% speed. No negatives. I thought they used extra power. Yeah, yeah. Uh, energy consumption plus 70%. Uh, for the uh, in a, for the productivity modules is actually an energy consumption plus eighty yeah. percent. Okay. So the question is, do we want extra speed or do we, do we want slower speed but more productivity, so we get more out of the mine? Um. I, I think productivity is probably the better way to go with that. Yeah, so that the mine lasts longer. Yeah. Yeah. I think I agree. You're, you're back pumping this way, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, well, we can fix that. What do we in that? So I'm thinking that I'll look into doing productivity module one, two, and threes. Okay. So we have well, we have productivity modules here, but we need a lot more production then. A pump can pump at twelve thousand a second. Okay, there we go. We're now stuffing the crude oil pipes. That's better. That's better. And yeah, I really should figure out a way to to probably rebuild this and actually put oil tanks, a storage tank on each um, refinery. Mm hmm So that it has its own little buffer, which would make sense, but... But just, I think, I think that little redesign there is going to help. I think that's going to... push everything to the front of the queue. What I could do is I could put in mm. tanks here. Yeah. Which science is it? We need okay, production science packs. That was in a minute. We need three hundred and thirty four Productivity modules for that. So, if we say productivity modules, and say 334, then it's 67. Machines, and I have 17, 34, 68. How many blue belts do they need? They help or hinder, that's going to hinder, actually. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. Look like I want the pump right on the edge of the uh Ah. Yeah. yeah so we're actually really using all the inputs that we're getting here. Yeah, no, 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 that's a bad idea. Don't do that. Don't do that. Wasting oil. Wasting oil that we don't have. Hmm. So what I could do is just change this up a bit. I don't really need to do so with the... Advanced circuits. The advanced circuits are fine. It's the green circuits that I need to fix so that we have a third line. But I can do that. And then I could maybe... Are any of you actually struggling for resources? Stick some machines in here. So, if I want to make activity module threes... No. Let's just say I want... Uh, Protection module three. Resources. Not really, no. I want like 50 a minute. Uh, you are a little bit. Yeah, this pipe is a little bit. Okay, I, I do not want 50 a minute of productivity module threes, that's for sure. Mm. Uh, 10 a minute? That seems like a fair bit. Yeah. 50 a minute seems like a, 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 a lot. We can even go down to five a minute. Uh, this comes down here and goes into this tank, which doesn't really go anywhere. And then comes out. That one there. And you pump down into these, which is actually kind of filling up, which is good. Mm. And then you quick fill the train. So that would mean I need 40 batteries for that. Okay. Well, I think I am going to mull this over a little bit. And in the meantime... I'm going to do something a little bit practical right now. I hope. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I am thinking that up here where we are producing um, uh, all the different inserters and um, all the other stuff, uh, right. power poles, assemblers, miners, etc. I was thinking of making a little um, logistics robot area just to take care of our discarded items. So that if we come here and pick stuff up, then our trash slot will be emptied out at the same time. Because I have a lot of crap on me. Mainly mainly that's why I want to do this. Fair enough. Uh, so where are the robo ports? Uh, 
Not here. They have to be over here. There they are. So I need some advanced circuits. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh, that's right, it's right here. So now I can make Another one. There. Let's make a robot port. That'll leave us with uh, two. Oh, I need I robots think. too, don't I? Which we're not producing anywhere. No, because we weren't doing the robot thing, so. No, but we, we sh No, but we. I guess we should produce at least um, construction robots. For, uh, I mean, there's, there's no reason why we, we can't. It's just that we don't use them. <laughs> no, but construction robots we do uh, for maintaining our front lines, for instance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, they're just not something that's... Um... Yeah, it's not top of mind, is it? No. No, we... we... Bear, you know, you, you can easily handcraft a hundred or so robots and throw them in there. Um. Yeah. Yeah, so no point in setting that up. Uh, logistics robots are just as easy to make. Do it's getting some bloody repair packs that would probably help. Mm. As well, there's damaged stuff all around. I'm not repairing it because I have no repair packs. Oh, and all the trains are stopped. Why? Uh, I think the uh, fueling uh, pickup was was refueling. Uh huh. Right, we need to make some. Yeah, I could go and pick these up. I know there's loads of them around. I keep making stuff that's just more... I could walk over there and pick it up. I know, I know. We need to make some storage chests. Let's not do the last four, and that will leave us with 20 storage chests, I think. No. Wait, one more. Okay. Oh. Then... That's probably affected those. Double. I said you are MC. I probably actually get rid of you. I'll do a bit of blowing up here. So that is always fun. Hey. So how are we doing now? If we put a robo port, let's actually say here. Okay. Where is our... right, we'll put it there. Fluid. Fluid over the past 10 minutes. 
And we'll put a RoboPort over here, and it needs to be part of the same logistics network. Ah, Trolium. There. And it's just, yeah, they hadn't had. Okay, so that is going down. That is do. balanced. This is balanced. This is working. I hope this is working. Like trees in the middle of everything. All right, so we do this way before it empties out this side. Something like that. I need another robo port. We'll probably need more than one. What I'm thinking of doing is putting another stop down here to pick up all the crap that we drop in here. And kind of... There are a couple of robo ports actually in the center doing nothing at the moment. They were destroying old stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. But where are we going to send it? The firing range. Yeah, it would be nice if there was like a. I don't want this stuff. Can you just destroy it? An incinerator. Yeah. That just burns everything you throw into it. Yeah, it could just be a. Uh, it could just be a furnace that. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it doesn't produce anything from it. It'd be nice if it did, you know, it broke it down to whatever the base materials are. You know, you got iron or, or copper out of it or whatever. Yeah. But if it could just literally be a, you know, just get rid of it. Hmm. Especially all oh, the actually, wood. No. Yeah, wood. I, I am I am very surprised that there isn't a um, uh, charcoal, built-in charcoal production. Yeah. You know, but then you wouldn't use it very often, would you? It wouldn't be something that's... No. Okay, so I think... I think hopefully that's going to help our... Our... Uh, petroleum? Oh, I need steel chests. I still don't think we're producing enough petroleum, which means this needs to be even bigger. So there's 25, 50. So yeah, how many did I make? Fill a train in one yeah, minute. Yeah, a lot of pass passive provider chests. 25, 50. I need 200,000 petroleum. Which means apparently I need three pipes worth of petroleum in order to fill a train in one minute. That's 171 refineries. Sounds like a lot. How much plastic are we going to need in a minute? That's the thing. We're going to need a lot of plastic. So, uh, so for just the science pack, for just the uh, space science pack, mm -hmm. we need 20,000 plastic a minute. Okay. That's a bit. Plastic is used in many other places as well. Um, so that's 166 factories, obviously not with any modules in it, so, but that is 200,000 petroleum a minute. <laughs> that's a lot of petroleum. That is three, I need actually only three pipes producing doing that it would actually it would saturate a whole pipe um and that is ten thousand coal uh coming in for the plastic because you need coal for plastics here it's ten thousand coal a minute coming in and 166 um uh refineries for plastic and we currently have not 166 
So there's 32, 64, we have 128. Actually, there's a lot more than I thought there was. Is that right? 16, 32 and one lot. 32, 64, 72, yeah, 128. So yeah, so we have 128 currently making plastic. So we just need to increase that a little bit more. Uh, quite a bit more because, as you said, that's just for one of the sciences, right? And we need plastic for other stuff as well. Right? Yeah. Y yeah, hang on. Hang on. Hang on, that can't be right. Oh, my God, I don't suppose these are running at any anywhere near the full speed because of the petroleum. So that's ah. fine. Okay, so here's a question. Can you put modules inside the chemical plant? Uh, I'm pretty sure you can. This, this you can. Because apparently I need 100, 145 chemical plants making uh, petroleum, and I currently have about 50, I think, mm -hmm. right here. Might be more than that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 2, 4, 6, 8, 40. There's 42 chemical plants there. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, and we need 145. Alright. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? But if I put in uh, speed module 3s to them, let's do speed module 1, shall we? Speed module runs. we need 90 instead. So yeah, I need to double the oil refinery anyway, which um, I, I was going to do this episode and then I've mucked about with what currently is here thinking that maybe this would work and I should have just looked at the numbers to start with. And... <laughs> yeah, but you don't always do that, do you? Well, no. No, no one does. So I am going to go back to where I started and pretend this episode never happened <laughs> <laughs> because it is over. Because it, it is, we have run out of time. It is, we have, <laughs> we have. So yeah, so let's call it here, and I shall plan something a bit better. So yeah, okay. So yes, thank you all very much for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this one, and we hope to see you again next time. And until then, as always, have fun. Bye bye.